Uh, but here's a story that I wanted to tell you. I, f- I forgot to tell you this. When I was on the plane ride out, all right, um, I got a first class ticket because that's how I fly. Okay, I spent 20 years in the back of the plane. I ain't going back. But I can tell you right now, it's not a bad time to fly in the back of the plane. I felt stupid. I sat up in first class. First class. First class was packed, and then in the back there was like nobody. So those people could like stretch out and shit and also not have to worry about somebody fucking breathing on you, you know, with the fucking next Ebola or some shit. So I got a kick out of that. So anyway, I'm sitting there and on the flight out, this fucking douche, this fucking douche in the fucking first class front row, not talking about myself, not saying I'm not a douche either, but. You know, I was a quiet douche. This douche was a loud douche, an unmistakable douche. The, the, the flight attendant, the lady there, the lady stewardess there, she fucking goes, um, we might, oh, the, the douche started bitching about the fucking internet before we even got going. And she goes, we, well, we might have a problem. I'm not really sure. The da 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 da. She said something about how the customer service, something about the customer service. And the guy goes, Yeah, that's so you won't have bad ratings. And he started bitching. He, he started bitching about how they made the seats more uncomfortable. And he's fucking talking to her like she's the one that puts the seats in the fucking plane. Right? Now, I got no problem. If some stewardess is fucking sitting there going like, you know, sir, can you fucking stick the thing in the fucking so we can get going? If you're going to be like, I don't have a problem at that point being like, hey, lady, I'm doing the best I can here. Hey, buddy, relax. Okay, you're cramming us in here like sardines. I'm, tr- I'm trying to do the best I can here. All right. I don't have a problem with that. But when you start bitching about literally the plane, like she has that 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 type of stuff there. I mean, it's fucking ridiculous. So this guy goes uh you know, you made the seats more uncomfortable, blah, 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 blah. And I so wanted to be like, hey, fatso, what about the fact that you've probably gained three and a half to seven and a half pounds every year since you graduated? You're at least 40 pounds over fucking weight. Maybe if you ate a fucking salad every once in a while, the seats wouldn't seem so uncomfortable. They don't feel uncomfortable to me. I've been flying fucking this airline forever. Why didn't I say that? There's got to be a nice way to say it without getting kicked off the plane. Excuse me, sir. I couldn't help notice, but you're, you seem to be obese. Okay? I'm not saying you're going to be on my 600-pound life, but just being 30 pounds overweight is, 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 you know, they can write you up for being obese even at your height, and you look like you're at least 50, 60 pounds overweight. Okay? So, I mean, what are they supposed to wheel on here? A fucking double wide lazy boy for your fat ass? It's fucking, dude, it's fucking ridiculous. Now, people always say that I come down on fat people. I, I do. I come down on them because they're chowing down and then they turn around and they start bitching at people and they, they, don't, they don't address the problem. You know what I mean? It's like I'm a bald orange cunt, okay? My head is going to get colder faster than someone that has a nice, thick, luscious mane of fucking hair, right? If I'm going to fucking sit there and, 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 you know, I'm sitting on the plane and everybody else with a full head of hair feels fine, am I going to start bitching that it's a little chilly in there? If I feel chilly, I fucking look around. I'm like, oh, all right, well, nobody else is fucking complaining. I put my hat on. I don't start bitching about the fucking vent, you know? But bald people are not considered uh, handicapped or whatever the fu- whatever these fatsos are fucking angling towards. You know, I don't know. I just couldn't fucking believe the guy bitching about the chin. The lady had to literally sit there. It's this fat slacked fucking burger eating jerk off is talking about uncomfortable fucking seats. It's like, you think the seats on, how, how do you think the seat feels? Trying to hold your fucking lard ass up. I don't know, but I know you're not supposed to say that. You're supposed to call these people heroes 
and say that they're beautiful as they eat their way into a diabetic coma. I guess that's the way you do it. I mean, I don't know. It's fucking strange to me. So, I mean, if you can have kick a ginger day, I can't make fun of fatties. I just don't understand. (laughs) I should actually like fat people. So in kick a ginger day, they're easy to outrun. Maybe that's what it is. So what else can I bitch about to get people going? 